Hi guys, how are you doing? So today's reading is, who will ask me out on a date next? Now I'm assuming this is going to be romantic, but it's not necessarily, it could be kind of platonic. We'll see what comes up, okay? So just let me have a little drink, because I forgot to have one before I press record, which is so organised of me. I hope you're really well guys. Um, guys, if you would like to check out my other stuff, please check the description box below. I have four books if you would like to read them they're available on amazon to buy in paperback or kindle um you can get a reading with me 20 pounds for 20 mi minutes and you get it within 24 hours all of that good stuff is in the description box below without further ado let us move on with today's reading sorry if i knocked the camera then You can still see the cards. I need to move them. Hi, number ones. How are you doing? So, who are you going to go? Who's going to ask you on a date next? I'm going to get that wrong so many times because I haven't written it down and I always forget the question. So, who knows what could happen? Right. Okay. Right. So, who is going to ask you out on a date next? This could be romantic or not it we've got the knight of cups in reverse so i would say in the all right position this would be someone um coming towards you wanting to offer you like emotional like love or emotional um something emotional with it being in reverse i feel like it's not necessarily emotional it might just be if it is a romantic date it might just be a physical thing rather than an emotional attachment this person is abundant they have money um and possessions you know that and i feel this is literal with the coins i feel like it's um they're materially well off okay um because we've got contemplation time spend time alone i feel like this date is going to be opulent and this person is going to take you maybe wine you and dine you you're going to get some finer things which is really nice but i think that this person is not interested they're gonna they're gonna impress you with what they've got but actually you're gonna end up being alone at the end of it not that i think you'll mind because i think this is just a, a regular date this could even be a friendship it's not romantic but you are going to get a real sense of being spoiled and having a real nice time with the queen of pentacles here this is a man or a woman um but yeah i don't think this is romantic so your next date is going to be really lavish and really beautiful and nice but pr probably not romantic number ones Okay guys, hope you enjoyed today's uh, slightly more um, light-hearted reading. So much love to you. Please like and subscribe if you did enjoy it. Oh, nearly did number three then. Hi number two, how are you doing? I hope you're well. So who are you going to date next? Again, a little bit like number two, number one even. Um, this I don't feel it's going to be the emotional fulfillment sort of date. I don't feel like your next date, who's going to ask you on your next date? I don't think this person is going to be looking for a long-term commitment and an emotional commitment. They're probably going to be something to do with music or the date is going to be something to do with music. You may be going to a concert, to a club, somewhere that there's music involved or this person is involved in music. And um, there is going to be a sense, though, that there's going to be a, um, a sort of material, um, the Ace of Pentacles. So this is like a material, monetary f sort of new beginning, a sense of prosperity, if you like. So I feel like this could be either something that just that you really enjoy, that brings you a great deal of enjoyment. Um, it might also be some sort of... Um, so it might not be a date in the romantic sense. It might be something about if you work in music or if you're interested in something in music. It could be that your next date, uh, your next sort of date in inverted commas is going to be something that's going to start something prosperous. So it might be meeting with another musician or something and creating some sort of creative project with them. But I feel like, you know, it will be something that's physically enjoyable let's just put it that way but probably not an emotional long-term commitment and it's probably to do with music 
Number two is I hope you enjoyed the slightly more light-hearted version of today's reading. I try not to do too many of them because I know you guys like the the more um, in-depth uh, emotional ones, but it's nice to have one of these every now and again. So hope you enjoyed it. Much love to you. See you soon. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed today's reading. Number three. Hi, number threes. How are you doing? So, who will ask me on a date next? Okay. This person is... I feel like this person is the Queen of Wands, so it can be male or female, but this person is very inspired and inspiring, very nurturing. I feel like, you know, then we've got the Tranquility card. This is someone who really cares for you, who really wants to take care of you. So if you're in a relationship, it might be that you're going to go on a really romantic date with this person, or they're going to spoil you and take care of you. Um, uh, because I feel like this is... Th what they're wanting to do they're wanting to give you this sort of really nice treatment um you know you're not we've got the five of wands in reverse here it's like i feel like you've been through some difficult things lately you've been having a bit of a difficult time maybe like this feels to me more like maybe hard time at work maybe some some difficulty with colleagues or with friends or family and this person might know this and they want to come along and make life easy for you they want to um nurture you take care of you because this queen of wands it's quite divine feminine like they want to mother you in an in an appropriate way do you know what i mean like they want to take care of you and look after you that's in line with it's probably going to be romantic i feel because of the water here I don't know why i just feel that's the case um but it doesn't necessarily have to it could literally be um someone who you see as like a divine feminine um protector or so it could be a mother or a sister or a best friend but it's someone who wants to take care of you and help you deal with this difficulty that you've been going through so that's really nice isn't it hope you enjoyed this slightly more light-hearted reading today guys so much love to you see you on the next reading Hi, number four. So who's going to ask you out on a date next? Let's have a look. Oops. Let's not drop the cards. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> right, so... I feel like the person who's going to ask you out on a date, you've been asking... <laughs> it says... You've prayed for help, so get out of the way and let heaven help you. I feel like you've been asking to go on a date with this person or you want this person to ask you on a date. Um, and they are going to finally ask you on a date. It's like heaven's helped you here, you know. Um, this person, I kind of love when I see, because this person's really dramatic, okay. They're really full on because we've got the five of coins and the Knight of Wands, they're like racing in, they're really passionate physically and um, literally and metaphorically very passionate. They are very, they feel, they like come from the heart and soul, they're really full on, they're kind of quick to love, quick to hate, you know, they're, they're quite like dramatic. Excuse me, my phone's ringing. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, they're really dramatic. They're really full on. Um, and, you know, they're like, they, they've got all ends of the spectrum because they're kind of like, oh, poor me, my life, you know. So they've got this like, oh, very dramatic, possibly eccentric. Because the five of coins is obviously like feeling left out in the cold. It's real hard times and whatever. But I'm seeing this in a very lighthearted way. This person is kind of just over the top and dramatic. You know, they're like very full on, very all over the place. Do you know what I mean? In in a in an emotional way. You know, they're up and down. But this is someone who you have been wanting to date for a while. I feel, or you've been asking for someone like this. Um, and and if you've been asking just for someone to ask you out on a date, and you're not really sure who it is, you've just been open to it. You'll notice them by their very emotional ways and 
you know the way they are um but you know they are bringing you something really great you know and i really think that they could be quite inspiring and they'll certainly be very entertaining that's for sure okay guys so much love to you i hope you enjoyed this and lighter reading today and i will see you tomorrow or on a private reading hi number fives how are you doing i hope you're really good so who are you gonna date next okay i feel like obviously with the justice card there's an obvious legal thing here this could be someone who's to do with the law or legal this person is quite um discerning mm, i'm just gonna say it as it is this person may appear a little tight <laughs> and by that i mean you know they're a bit could be a little bit stingy financially you know that they are careful or that they're just careful with their money with this four of coins um, but they're an astute person they're quite I see them as like quite a suited and quite almost quite an uptight character um, very intellectual very intelligent um, probably very abundant even though they hold on to their money quite um, quite uh, significantly I feel like a lot of you some of you this card won't relate to okay some of you it's just this is who it is so this may be your person you may think oh yeah that's the person that i hope today or i've been kind of flirting with and it might turn into something well that's this person you know if that's the case great for some of you i've described very loosely the person you want to date and what they're saying is you've got to make a wish this is a magical moment make a wish and enjoy its manifestation so you've kind of got to have the belief that this person is going to ask you out you know like there's there's something for you maybe maybe you're kind of i don't know it might be that you're not um really believing that they are interested in you or maybe you know you you have kind of well, I don't know, maybe you're just not focusing on it that much. But they're saying, make a wish. And if this person sounds like someone that you've kind of had your eye on, you need to kind of put a bit more intentional energy towards it. And then they will come forward and ask you on a date, which is really, really, really nice. But yeah, this person is a is a is like a cool operator. And he's, he's kind of, he's a, he is a bit uptight, but he's extremely intelligent. Um, you know, very very astute very astute yeah okay number five hope you enjoyed today's slightly lighter reading see you tomorrow or on a private reading da, 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 da. hi number six how are you doing right so who will ask you out on a date next okay now this person could be someone i feel like this could be someone who has been absent from your life but you've maybe had a relationship with before or you have had your eye on but they kind of have gone out of you know out of the picture for a while because it says new abundance and exciting opportunities wash over you now i feel like it's a new level of abundance with this person so i feel like you've had encounters with this person before i do feel it's romantic because of the water the cups i do feel it's romantic i feel like this person has probably been towards you before but then backed off there's been some confusion maybe you've kind of had some dates but then they've gone away maybe you were in a, have been in a period of separation from this person or you went on a few dates and then they kind of it fizzled out but the, the confusion has gone from this person and i think that this person whoever it is has had some down you know as has been up down on their luck they've had a difficult time they've really gone through something but the good thing is that they are now ready um to move forwards because the confusion's gone the abundance is coming in you know they've been through something really quite difficult could even be really quite bad you know some real painful situation ten of swords is really unpleasant it's one of the worst of the worst in terms of feeling painful and it's really rock bottom but you know what they're on the on the way up because 
there's waves of prosperity here, new abundance and exciting opportunities. So this person is no longer confused, but you'll recognize them because I think they've been in your life before or they're in your life already. And there's someone who's really had been down on their luck, had a really hard time. And, and they've also been quite confused and, and struggled to know what to do and where to go and what's happening. But you know what, that's all lifting now and they're feeling really abundant. And they're going to come and ask you out on a date, which is really, really fantastic. Because I feel like this is someone that you have been waiting for this situation to resolve itself. And resolve itself it has. Okay, my love, I hope you've enjoyed today's readings. Um, yeah, and I will see you either on a private reading or tomorrow's reading. So much love and I'll see you soon.